Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got a big money Bolo video coming your way. I've got 15 Bolos. Um, one of them sold for almost $600. The auction went crazy. Um, one of my best finds, I picked it up at a garage sale for $10. So excited. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, all of these items, I picked up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook marketplace, and um, we're going to get started here. If you want to see things that I sold for $35 or less, I call those my bread and butter bolos, and I have a whole bunch of those videos too. Um, probably three times as many as my big money bolos, because let's face it, um, the big money bolos are harder to find, and the easier to find items that you can flip quick and find easier they're also fantastic to learn about. So um, check out those videos as well. All right, you guys, I am Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. I am here to help you learn about items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. I sold these items on eBay. All right, let's get started. The first item I sold is this scratch and sniff sticker sheet, you guys. I had it listed high at $70 and somebody came in with a best offer of 45 and I went ahead and took it. Um, could I have held out for more? I think so, but 45 is a pretty good offer for a sticker sheet. But I will tell you these scratch and sniff stickers can be big money. Um, I actually have a video over on my uh, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies where I unbox these stickers. And I got so many amazing stickers at this garage sale. I think it was $3 for the whole bag, um, if I remember correctly. But oh my goodness, I sold another sheet for like 45 bucks. Just unreal what stickers can go for. Um, I also have a category Bolo video where I tell you stickers to Bolo for, where I have searched eBay and um, looked up solds and I share it with you guys. It's kind of a way that I research. And as I'm researching, I just make a video and share with you guys. So check out those category videos. They are just tons of great information and I have tons of them. All right, this is Max. He is the secret life of pets dog and he actually walks and uh, talks. And here is a video down in the description that shows how he works. I always attach a video for anything that's animated. And this guy sold for $46.80 and the buyer was all in for $61.89. I got him off of Facebook Marketplace in a big lot of toys. My cost of goods was probably like a buck. This is a vintage children's hand warmer. Um, it's fur. I don't know what kind of fur, but it's called a muff and it's broken. I got this at a garage sale and it had some Barbie booklets down in the side. And I think I paid $5 for all of it. And I did really well on the Barbie booklets. So it was really just a win-win. I uh, ended up selling this for $45 on best offer and the buyer was all in for $57.35. The next item is this Disney Store Sleeping Beauty plush. Um, took a best offer of $45. The buyer was all in for $53.99. I paid a dollar each for these. I am still waiting on payment currently. They have sent me two or three messages saying that they promised to pay. So I'm hoping that this sale goes through. But if not, I will be relisting these, but uh, definitely expect to get around 45, 40 to 50 bucks for them. I was happy with the $45 offer. The next item are these subtract. Um, it's like a panty, like a shaper, shaper. I should have put shaper in the title. But either way, it sold super fast. Um, I sold it for $39.60. The buyer was all in for $50.28. I got this at a thrift store for $4. And when I say it sold fast, it sold really fast. I think within a week. This is a vintage Halloween jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. I have footage of me sourcing this at a thrift store. Um, you guys, I hit the Halloween jackpot. And I'm going to show you another item that I sold from that same Goodwill thrift trip. I think it says Goodwill thrift with me Halloween or something. You guys, I cannot even believe I went first thing in the morning when they first opened and I don't normally do that. And I don't know if that's what I need to do or maybe that's the secret, but I found so many bolos. Um, if you watch the video, I show you some items that had already sold. And then there's two in this video that have sold. 
but I got this for uh, $2 at the Goodwill, sold it for $44.30. The buyer was all in for $55.53. And it's not a big one, you guys. It's just a, a little one. So pretty cool. But anything blow mold, definitely, definitely a good item to find. These are Peppa Pig's family and friends figures. I got these at a garage sale for $1 and I decided to lot these up. I have sold these in sets of two or individually also, but these I think were a set. A uh, fancy dress party is what it was called. Um, I sold these for $38.50. The buyer was all in for $49.24. Okay, you guys, if you look here, you can see that his hand is broken. So this could easily be glued back on, but I wanted full disclosure that it had been broke and I really didn't want to be responsible for making it look um, really fancy. I feel like when I glue things, you can see the glue. So I just left that up to the buyer. So you got the Holy Family here, Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, department 56. Um, this is a rare gold color. This is a harder to find item. I picked this up at an estate sale for $3 and I sold this for $52.50 with the broken hand. Um, and the buyer was all in for $81.44, which is pretty amazing for a broken item. You guys, just because an item is broken, do not dismiss it. Um, I sell broken items all the time. If you guys watch my channel on a regular basis, you know I'm pretty known for selling damaged items, items with defects and whatnot. This item also sold, sold after Halloween, which is awesome. I can't remember where I got it. I think I got it at a garage sale. It's coming back to me right now. I'm remembering. I think it was out by a lake at a community sale. For some reason, it just, I, I, I feel like that's where I got it. There is a video in the description. Uh, I think I paid $5 for him and he, I took a best offer of 80. Again, it was after Halloween. Uh, I leave Halloween up all year long. Buyer was all in for $102.78 on this Frankenstein Jemmy hip swinging monster mash dancing Frankenstein. Vintage Halloween, if you can put the words in that order, I think people search for those two words together. That's just a little tip. I don't know if it's true, but I know when I'm doing my videos and I'm doing like category videos, I will search vintage Halloween. Here it is, you guys. This is a vintage How Harold Gale. I always want to say Howard. It's Harold Gale Santa Claus. This is a store display, you guys. It is amazing. Um, I was actually listing this or trying to figure out what this was over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I go live and I list. And I was asking the chat if anybody knew what it was. And Noelle from Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle YouTube channel was like, I think that's a Harold Gale. And she sent me some Instagram pictures and I was able to identify it. And I was like, I need to get this thing listed. And you guys, it, the auction went crazy. Um, when I listed it, I immediately had people bidding it up to like 260 some dollars. And then it got a bunch of bids at the end. But um, I have a whole video about this and the scenario. There was something that happened in a way that I, um, dealt with the situation. And I talk you guys through that over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So you'll see a thumbnail with him in the um, thumbnail. Go check out that video because you may think that my technique for selling this item was good. And you may think that you wouldn't do it. So let me know in the comments of that video what you think. But $10 garage sale sold for 588 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $643.66. And he does have a stain on his shirt here. So I just disclosed it and showed photos. Still sold for $588. Here is another item that I listed on my uh, live show. Um, and I looked it up when everybody was watching and I was super excited. If this would have been in mint condition, I probably could have got closer to a hundred dollars, but it had a little bit of yellowing in a few areas. And I just showed it and disclosed it. Um, I got this at an estate sale for 50 cents. I ended up taking a best offer of 65 and it sold. Um, the buyer was all in for 74 66. I 
think this went internationally, but don't quote me on that. So they would have their international fees as well with global shipping. But you guys, this sold really fast. The next item is this dollhouse miniature realistic dog. I think um, it's handmade. I think I'm almost certain. Um, it's real fur. It has glass eyes. I got this at an estate sale um, with a bunch of vintage dollhouse miniatures. Unbelievable, you guys. This thing went for $56. I probably have a quarter in it. And the buyer was all in for $65.62. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for a buck. It is a vintage peanut Snoopy Woodstock cookie jar from uh, 1965. And I sold this for $42. The buyer was all in for $56.54. The next item. Okay, so remember the other item that I got from the Goodwill that was in the, the Halloween video? This is it. Um, these are vintage Halloween blow mold string lights. There's only 10 of them, you guys. They're hard to find. They're amazing. I sold this for $125. My cost of goods was three bucks at the Goodwill. So you can still find treasures at the Goodwill. Uh, the buyer was all in for $145.09. The next item is this House of Hatton Christmas ornament. This is Maids a Milking, 12 Days of Christmas. These House of Hatton ornaments are a definite bolo. They have sold so fast for me. Um, I think I've sold six or seven, and I think I have two left. Just unbelievable. Um, I sold a broken one for $35. And I think the highest one has sold for is 75, but most are in the 50 to 60 dollar range. This one sold for 57 dollars and 60 cents. The buyer was all in for 68 dollars. So um, let me show you what you're looking for here. They are marked. Here we go. Some of them say H of H, and some of them are spelled out. Just depends on the size of the ornament, and they are dated from what I have seen, the ones I have found. But House of Hatton, definitely a bolo item that you guys want to be on the lookout for. All right, thank you for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up. Check out another video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me an owl emoji if you made it this far. And um, check out the description of the video for some of those links I was talking about. Join my Facebook group. Check me out on Instagram. Um, Check out Mercari and Poshmark. Um, I've got links that you can get a coupon if you sign up. And then I get a coupon, which is awesome. So check it out down below. And thanks for watching.